Hi, I'm Henry of BlueHeronArts.com. Today I'm going to talk about uh, a bilingual seal design. Um, actually, there are three of them um, by the same request, uh, by the same customer. This is a, a third generation Chinese family and they want to uh, make uh, this uh, name seals for uh, their sons and uh, cousin. Um, <coughs> to pass down the heritage, although they may not uh, uh, be able to write the name anymore, I guess. Um, the special request has to do with uh, uh, both the English name and uh, the uh, Chinese name. And uh, here is an example they did. Uh, uh, they had this uh, for the mother before. Uh, this looks like a, a very mechanical font design, which I uh, I'm not going to to do uh, because uh, the nature of uh, the soapstone that we use is very uh, kind of uh, uh, fragile for this kind of uh, uh, straight line font, you know. So I prefer the customer to draw something handwriting uh, like a signature um, that give me more freedom of uh, artistic uh, design or creation. Uh, recreation. So uh, I asked the client to draw this uh, this seals uh, um, on a piece of paper, and uh, also this one. So there are three seals uh, I'm going to do for Theo, Harry, and uh, Megan, and they have to shorten their long name uh, in order to fit in the space. So by this process, the customer learn what uh, going to fit in this uh, stone, the two um, and a half uh, centimeter stone or one, uh, one inch stone. Um, so you need to draw something before you give to me so you, you will see if you can write it in the space of the, uh, the size of the stone then I can do it probably. Um, so I did based on the handwriting you can see here in the uh, very close, right? Uh, it's like a signature seal to me. Uh, so I, I like this kind of uh, organic uh, writing instead of mechanic uh, font. Uh, and I, I use the uh, ancient uh, uh, seal script on the left side with the Chinese name Su Zhuo Wen and the seal on the uh, right hand. And this is uh, his uh, brother, Harry. Uh, just slightly different in Chinese. The last character is different from the older brother. And uh, their cousin, and uh, sorry, Megan, uh, here. So I'm going to carve one by one uh, with this uh, special stone, and they choose this very nice. Uh, Pichu top is a very traditional uh, mythical animal, uh, very nice stone. It's like a little line but live in the sea, I guess. And you can read the product description about the story, uh, Brahman Arts. And here I have this uh, design transferred um, to the stone uh, with liquid uh, called the Aston. You can check my previous videos about that process. And uh, now I'm going to carve. Because the uh, the statue on the other end, I have to use this uh, stabilizer or a seal bed uh, tool to fix it. Usually I hold it in the hand, but now I use this, this base. Usually start from uh, some uh, uh, margin uh, edge, so I can have a feel of the stone. <coughs> and I'll do this uh, English name first. This part is positive. Uh, we leave out the stroke, uh, carve out the background, called Yang style. So 
if your name is short, you don't have to short uh, use the shortcut like uh, Eva or some uh, Alan, you know, like four character, four letters is fine. But longer than that, uh, you need to shorten it or just do the initials. Show sandstone. It's very crispy. You can see, very um, crispy. So that's why I want to do the computer font. You know, don't uh, don't ask me to do a special like uh, um, you can find the, the you know the on the computer. You have to handwrite it if you want me to do the initial seal or the signature seal. And with a marker pen, it's similar to the effect I can get you know, from the, the brush. So I try to keep that handwriting style. Notice the corner is very soft, not, not hard crossing. You know. This is to match the Chinese characters that we're going to do. So let me just do all the contour, the outline, and now take out the uh, background. You can do whatever you know, uh, all your convenient to you. You have to follow the handwriting uh, sequence. The best part of this uh, transfer is it's, it's waterproof. You know, the, with laser toner powder, you transfer from the laser from out. Uh, you can you won't wipe out. That's, part. That's better than ink. The traditional way is using ink to trace the design. And this saves a lot of time, thanks for a tip I got from a YouTube uh, friend, Cedric. This dark stone is kind of hard to see the line. between round and the square, I like it a lot. So you have to basically squareize it in the uh, Chinese seal format to match the Chinese characters.
the canoe left, the background. Very cheap, could uh, damage the stroke if you cut it too, too heavy or too deep. So you have to be careful all the time. Once it uh, uh, cut out, you cannot make it back. So just go slow. This uh, reference here.
to polish some uh, marginal area. We want to make the stone kind of rounded, not with sharp corners. Okay, now I'm going to make a first test imprint to see how it looks. Like. This uh, animal face the use is the right orientation. Put something underneath it like a magazine. I use a piece of uh, special rubber uh, you can get from our website. Okay, it's very nice. Um, I think uh, it's done. Very even, and we just take a little extra here. Now I'm going to make a official imprint in my oven. Make sure the four corners are all inked. Animal facing me. Okay. And, uh, let's do another one for the client. This is the computer design, this is the first imprint, and now the final one. Wow. Beautiful, right? Okay, and I'd like to thank the mother of uh, two uh, brothers and uh, uh, hope uh, the family uh, pass this seal generation after generation. And uh, if you'd like to order a bilingual name seal, uh, please uh, contact me and uh, draw a draft. I'll review it for you. Goodbye.